my stargazers, this is Gwendolyn. This series of videos is going to be about the personality numbers um, in numerology. And you can check out my video of how to calculate your personality number. And then you can refer to one of these videos um, to find out what your personality number says about you. So this video is going to be about personality number one. And personality number one is, it, co it basically corresponds with Aries. Your personality number is the outer shell of how you interact with others, um, how others may perceive you, how the world experiences you on an outer level, um, as different from your life path number, which is who you are on a core level. So personality number one it relates to the, both the high side and the low side of the number one. So number ones are initiating of action, just like Aries, beginning things, innovative, creative, original, unique. If you think of the phrase of like one of a kind, that's very one energy. Sometimes ones can experience um, its loneliest at the top because one has winner energy, it has um, top of the mark energy, it's the, the one, you know, the one that stands out from everything else. On the flip side of that, it can be the one that is ostracized from everyone else, the one that is separate, the one that is different. So on the low side, one energy can be like lone wolf energy, isolation, um, feeling like no one else understands you or feeling like one is the loneliest number. So one personalities generally like to do things their own way uh, because they, they have this one-of-a-kind energy. They, there's no one else like them. Um, they, because one has this sort of inherent authority um, and leadership quality to it, they don't like to be told what to do or they have, they have a, their own way of doing everything. Um, and so one energy, if you want to work for yourself, for example, having a one personality or a one life path number is very good because there's no one else like you. There's no one else that can contribute what you contribute or what you bring to the table. It's one of a kind, unique, fresh, um, original, innovative. If you were, say, the head of your own business, it's very good for one energy. You're very capable for that. So we see a lot of entrepreneurs with one energy. Um, also, if you are, say, an artist and you bring a unique, exquisite form of art to the world that no one else does, that's one energy. There's only one of, the, one of its kind. Um, and so you may have to work with feeling like you're misunderstood or that you are um, lonely or that you're lone wolf pack, you know, lone wolf energy. That's the low side of the one. But the high side of the one is leadership, innovation, creativity, um, uh, uniqueness, all the things. If you think of the card of magician, that is the number one card in the major arcana. So that really is the archetype for one energy. It's taking everything at your resources, fusing it together, and coming up with something new. So synthesis, creativity, innovation, uniqueness, entrepreneurship, leadership are all one characteristics and originating of, of activities. So if you begin things, you envision them, you put them in motion, that's all one energy. Uh, again, um, creating something new like an inventor, that's one energy too. So uh, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to put them in the comments there. Um, I love to talk about, you know, different things that have to do with personality numbers or how they combine with other numbers. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to put those in. And then check out the rest of the videos within this series to find out about other personality numbers. Thanks so much for watching. Yours in the stars.